This video is going to be very, very short. I'm going to be adding a one terabyte NVMe SSD on this PC here, this bad boy here. See, this is not a dedicated video. As a matter of fact, it would be very, very wrong of me not to talk about this PC. But like I said, this is not for that. If I finish making a dedicated video, I'm going to link it here where you can actually click on it and watch it because this PC here, like I said, that would be a disservice for me if I do not, you know, talk about the fact that this is the PC that you have been waiting to have all this while. But then somebody over the week came into the hardware money shop and bought this PC. But the mistake was that they bought a 120 gigabyte of NVMe SSD and the PC has since been shipped out. Reached out to me and said, hardware money, please, is it possible for you to show me how I can upgrade the SSD on my PC? I said to myself, that is easy. I've always warned you guys, do not go to the hardware money shop to buy a 120 gigabyte of NVMe SSD. Sooner or later, you're going to regret it because you're going to be out of space. And when it happens, you're not going to be able to store your data. And when that happens, you are going to be crying and saying, hardware money, please, could you make me a dedicated video showing me how I can go ahead to upgrade the SSD on my PC? See, this SSD right here is a Tenso. I'm not going to say anything because Intenso hasn't paid me to do that, but just understand that when you see this packaging, you are looking at a quality, you know, item. Don't be deceived. There are so many SSD out there in the market, but like I said, I have used this over and over and over and again, and I find no fault in this NVMe SSD. Go to TikTok. You are going to hear people talking about so many kind of SSD that failed them. They installed it for no reason or the other. It suddenly crashed, but this one right here, Stick counting, I have used over 200 pieces of this particular NVMe SSD. Never have ever had a problem with it. And I do feel that if you go ahead and get something like this, you are not going to have any problem whatsoever with it. That being said, guys, we are going to upgrade this thing right now. See, right here is the NVMe SSD. I am going to take that out and enable me put this one right here. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to open it. Long time ago, I said I wasn't going to open SSDs like this, but guys, I'm so sorry. This is exactly how I was taught. Just allow me to do what I know how to do best. This is exactly what we are talking about. Decent finishing, you know, decent packaging. Guys, be careful. Using the scissors might not be the best thing, you know, to open this. I'm just going to bring this out so that you exactly can see what I mean. Guys, this is a one terabyte. NVMe SSD from Intenso. See, what we have to do now is to remove this SSD right here. And to do that, I have my special screwdriver I normally use. Give me one minute to get it. All right, this is exactly what you need. Don't let anybody deceive you to buy a particular tool set in taking out an NVMe SSD. This alone is just what you need. What you want to do is to go ahead, you know, and unscrew that gently. Lucky thing is that HP has made it so easy to take out, so you don't need to fight with any screw. See, this SSD right here is a 128 gigabyte of NVMe SSD. I'm not saying this is not a good product, but the basic reason why I'm changing this is that this is just bigger. It's going to enable you to store more data, and you might be doing yourself, you know, a lot of good if you just buy, you know, a one terabyte SSD on the hardware money shop easy. All right, so now that that is in place, you have to take the screw and gently, you know, screw it back on. Sometimes it might be a little bit difficult to pick up the screw and I'm just trying to be careful right here. And I'm going to take that out like that and just going to try to align it. If you are doing stuff like this, one thing you do not want to do, you don't want to be in a hurry. And secondly, if you have sweaty palms, you want to make sure you have a ventilator around to you know, ensure that your hands are kind of dry while you are doing this because any attempt for you to sweat onto this main board might not be the best, you know, thing. You might put it on and something makes a little noise and then you realize that the main board just refuses, you know, to power on anymore. So make sure you have the right tool set and your hands are clean. Yes, clean. And then also not sweating. If that's the case, you can get yourself kind of a, a hand gloves or something like that. All right, guys, the SSD has been installed, but permit me to just say one thing about this system that might be a game changer for you. This system right here, it gives you the possibility to use it with two NVMe SSD. You see, one is right here, and right here, you have another slot. That is a game changer. I can tell you for free that not so many PCs have this kind of combination. A lot of the pieces that you have out there just have one NVMe slot, and also gives you the possibility for a HDD or additional SATA SSD, you know, right here. But this one right here, 
it is a game changer. You want to do yourself a lot of good. If you go to the hardware money shop and try to get, you know, something decent like this, once again, this is not a dedicated video talking about the specifications and the benefit of why you have to get this. I am going to definitely make a separate video. And if I do make it, I'm going to ensure that I link it up here. So you want to do yourself a lot of good if you go ahead and be subscribed to the channel. Otherwise, I would have spent time making the video. I would have uploaded it onto YouTube and then you are not notified about the video. And because of that, you do not tend to see it. And then you go ahead and buy a PC that you will not be happy about. Until I see you again in the next one, peace.